I'm so glad that spring is here. When the weather starts getting warmer, I start thinking about summer. I hear you. And when I think about summer, I start thinking about the super time we will have dancing at Midsummer Night Swing. I love Midsummer Night Swing. It's one of the most special things about New York City in the summer. It makes Lincoln Center one of the most joyous places in the city. I wonder, who's playing this year? Funny you ask. They just announced this year's lineup. If you have a few minutes, I'd love to tell you who is playing. I'm all ears. Seems like you are too. Please tell me more. The season opens with the Nelson Riddle Orchestra on June 25th, paying tribute to Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald. That sounds great. Those songs were some of my favorites when I first started taking ballroom dancing classes. I hope the singer doesn't forget the words to Mac the Knife. What's next? Wednesday, June 27th will be a very rare appearance by Mexican cumbia accordionist Celso Peña. Que bueno. Cumbia is blowing up, thanks to parties like Que Bajo. Exactly. And their DJ, Gecko Jones, will be spinning between sets. I'm already excited. So what's next? There's a very special show on June 28th, the first ever US show by the A, B, C and D's of Boogie Woogie. That sounds fun. But I have never heard of the band. Why is it so special? Well, the C stands for Charlie, as in Charlie Watts. He's been a huge jazz fan since before he got a day job as the drummer for the world's greatest rock and roll band. And he's joined by two of Europe's best boogie woogie pianists. I always wanted to dance me some boogie woogie. I can already tell this will be a super summer. Just wait. There's more. On Friday night, Michelle Lake and Dem Little Big Horns come from New Orleans to bring some traditional jazz. She's so much fun. I saw her singing on French Man Street once. She made quite an impression. She inspired me to get a full tattoo sleeve. You can't see it now because of my superhero costume. Maybe you'll show it to me after a Saturday night of dancing charanga to Orchestra Broadway. They celebrate their 50th anniversary this year. Fifty years. That's quite a golden anniversary. What an elegant band. There's a special show on Monday, July 2nd with Kreitzer's Blue Rhythm Band. This is the first time Seattle's award-winning big band will perform in New York. Glenn Kreitzer's syncopators have been one of my favorite combos at the Lindy Exchange. I'm glad he's finally bringing his big band to New York. On Tuesday, the Boogaloo pioneer Johnny Cologne will play with DJ Termix on the Wheels of Steel. Wheels of Steel? What a corny expression. But Boogaloo is such a classic New York City sound, bringing salsa and R and B together. Plus, there's no work the next day, because of July 4th. I like it. I like it. I like it like that. <laughs> on July 4th, there's no show so we can see the Macy's fireworks, but on Thursday we can celebrate the 15th anniversary of DJ Rekka's party basement Bangra. The British Bangra pioneers will play their first New York show in about 15 years. I'm excited that Midsummer Night Swing is bringing Bhangra back. I need to brush up on my dance lessons. I still remember the basic screw in the light bulb, pet the dog. I'm glad you know how to screw in the light bulb. But do you know how to do the two-step? Friday, July 6th, Creole accordion master Gino Delafos and French rock and boogie will bring some of Louisiana's best zydeco back to New York. I'm planning on spending time at the Fay Dodo stage at Jazz Fest. I'll be ready to two-step and waltz. Sounds like you are ready for the dance floor. 
We'll keep it hot on Saturday night with J.D. McPherson. His vintage sounding rock and roll has the wild spirit of Little Richard. He's been called an artist to watch by NPR. I have a feeling this will be the beginning of something big for him. I heard that this isn't the only reason July 7th will be special. Is there something you are forgetting to tell me? Can't keep a secret from you. I'm also super excited to welcome DJ Jonathan Tubin back to New York. He'll spend soul 45s between sets for his first time after a long break from the public eye. And then, after the sound system is turned off, he'll continue to DJ for dancers during a silent disco. A silent disco. So that's why you already have your headphones on. Ha! Huh. That's so funny I forgot to laugh. Keep making fun of me and maybe I won't tell you about the final week of Midsummer Night Swing. Didn't realize being super sensitive was your superpower. Okay, pretty please. What's the third week? On Tuesday, July 10th, the Mambo Legends Orchestra pay tribute to the Queens of Salsa, Celia Cruz, La Luope, and Gracilla. Three super singers in a big band. Mambo nights are always so much fun. I should get my tickets soon. That's a good idea. Or buy your season pass. It guarantees you admission to the dance floor. This summer, they also added swing and Latin passes for people who have a special preference. Those people at Midsummer Night Swing think of everything. So, what else? July 11th will focus on music from the golden age of Argentinian tango. Pianist Carlos Zarate from Buenos Aires, will reunite with his collaborator from the Broadway show Tango Argentino, violinist Leonardo Suarezpas. Ooh, I have just the shoes for that night. I hope you have just the shoes for July 12th. Audience favorites The Losers Lounge will be back, this time with a competition. The King of Pop vs Prince. So I'll get to dance to Motown hits from the Jackson 5, as well as Michael and Janet. You got it. Plus Prince, Sheila and even Morris Day and the time. The Losers Lounge Disco and 80s nights are so much fun. I won't want this night to end. This night will go late. The Freedom Party DJs will spin another silent disco. Don't stop till you get enough. Let's go crazy on friday lincoln center celebrates the centennial of brazil's father of forro luis gonzaga with the u.s debut of masters de forro nordestino my ido bomb i love dancing to music from brazil's northeast and then the final night is one of the annual favorites oh i know this one the Harlem Renaissance Orchestra playing tribute to Illinois Jacket. That's right. But first, in the afternoon, our free kids dance lessons with Rodney Lopez. Wasn't he the guy in that documentary Mad Hot Ballroom? Those kids are so cute. That's the guy. He can get kids doing the tango in about 10 minutes. It's pretty impressive. For the grown-ups later that night, Lincoln Center will give its the fourth annual tribute to the Lindy Hop ambassador Frankie Manning, with a dance contest. You don't have to remind me about that. I've been practicing all winter. Last year's winners, Heidi and Joe, better watch out. I'm ready to steal their title. That is if I can find the right partner. Well, I'm pretty new to dancing, but I'm planning on coming to the new Free Dancing 101 classes they will give at the David Rubenstein Atrium on Wednesdays in June to pick up a few moves. And then I'll take the dance classes at Dam Rush Park before the bands play. Sounds like you'll be ready for me. May I have this dance? A lady who's not afraid to make the first move. My kind of dame. Let's swing. <laughs> <laughs> 